Okay, so today we are tackling my eyeshadow palettes. Here are all of the eyeshadow palettes I have. It's not including my cream eyeshadows, my individual eyeshadows, or like my um, pigments or like eyeshadow sticks or anything along those lines. So this is just eyeshadow palettes. There's a couple more up here that I you can't see in frame. Uh, we'll move those right there. <laughs> this is going to be difficult because a lot of these are already pared down. I don't know why I'm doing a declutter series, but actually I do know why, because I wanna make room for more things. There's new stuff coming out for fall, such as the new Urban Decay. It's like a huge Naked Basics all matte palette, and I have to have it, even though I told myself I never need another eyeshadow palette, but I have to have it. So my goal today is to get rid of five at least palettes if I can, which I think might be too hard, but I'm gonna try. I already see some that I know that I can get rid of, but um, let's go ahead and get into it. I've already laid them all out. We don't have drugstore versus high-end because I mainly just have high-end because I guess I'm a snob like that. Eyeshadows are not my favorite part of makeup. I enjoy using them if I'm going out on the town, but I much prefer like blush and bronzer and all that stuff. But still I've accumulated this huge collection of palettes and most of these I really do love. So starting with what I'm keeping immediately keeping this Urban Decay Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. This was limited edition. It is incredible. I use this all the freaking time and I am obsessed with it. I got it, what did I get it, in spring? Something when it came out. It is amazing. I am totally keeping that. I already know I'm keeping this entire row. We have Naked, Naked 2, Naked 3. Naked 3 is my favorite out of all of them because it's like blush tones and I feel like with my freckly face, blush tones look nice. But also the Naked 2 is incredible. I've hit pan on one even. I love my Naked palettes, so those aren't going anywhere. And then the basic, not the basic, the first Naked palette that started it all, right here, keeping it all. And I'm also very proud of my Chocolate Bar Too Faced collection. I think that Too Faced eyeshadows are actually my favorite shadow formula of all time. And these smell like chocolate. Well, these three, that's the um, original chocolate bar, the semi-sweet chocolate bar, which has um, a little bit more kind of cool tones, has some cool blues and grays. Just an interesting twist on the original one, which did I show you this one? I think I did. Oh, love it. I love the shimmery purple color. I also got this for Christmas. This is the Chocolate Bonbon palette. I didn't think I would love this, but I totally do. And I even wear this like really super fun pink color. Oh, it smells so good. So I have the three chocolate bar palettes, but then I also was able to snag the Sweet Peach palette, which I think I like even more than all of those. I, that's a really strong statement. I have made a serious dent in this luscious color and it smells like peaches and it's so good. I, this is a limited edition thing, so I apologize, but I love it and I'm keeping it. Also along those lines, I freaking love as you can tell, my Naked Basics palette. I don't know if you can tell, but I've hit pan in two of the shades in this, and then I actually prefer the Naked 2 Basics. Whenever I travel anywhere, doesn't matter where, this is pretty much the only palette I bring. I'm really nervous to travel on airplanes with a palette because I'm afraid it's gonna break, but I feel really okay with this because it's very, like, kind of rubbery packaging that isn't gonna like break. I mean, I'm sure most of these would be fine, but when I travel, I really only take this because I know I can achieve a look that I love and it's easy to travel with and it won't break and I love both of these, so I'm keeping them. Let's rearrange. So now there's a few that I see that I can pull to get rid of. This is a pure cosmetics um, eyeshadow palette, which is really, really pretty, and that's why I've kept it, but I just don't reach for it. I just have too much stuff. I mainly kept it for this huge, beautiful, taupey uh, purple color. It's called Desire. I have used this. I do like it. I love pure cosmetics. I just don't reach for this, and it's relatively new, so I can pass it on to a sister or a sister-in-law or something along those lines. Just pass it on to somebody who will give it love. I also think I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't love these eyeshadows on me. I don't know. I, I, I love that it's like an all-in-one. You have your eyeshadows, your blush, your bronzer, your highlight, but this highlight color for me is a little too frosty and I just don't enjoy these eyeshadows, so I think I'm also going to pass this on to my sister or something, which makes me sad because I love Tarte, but you know, I'm just not using it and it, there's no, okay, there's no point in keeping it when you don't like the shades. <laughs> I also know that I can pass on this, um, the Balm Voyage palette, which makes me sad because I like this. I just don't like the colors for me. I think the bronzer's a little too dark. I don't know, for traveling, these just aren't the eyeshadow colors that I would pick. So um, it's just, it's really cute. It's supposed to be like a travel palette and it's made out of cardboard. It's pretty sturdy, it'd be fine traveling and the packaging is so cute. But that's just not a reason to keep it. And I've had it for over a year and I've never touched it. So I'm gonna pass it on to somebody who will love it, even though that makes me sad. Goodbye, bon voyage to you. I am funny. 
Speaking of the bomb, I have my two nude palettes from them, Nude Tude and Nude Dude. And the best part about these palettes is the damn packaging, which you probably can't even see. I'm gonna zoom you in. This is Nude Dude, and they're all naked dudes, and it's incredible. This one is Naked Girls. I think I definitely prefer the Nude Dude one. I'm trying to convince myself to just keep one. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the Nude Tude because these are not shades that I would, oh, I can't even see. <laughs> these are not shades that I would really reach for. I'm honestly keeping it for the packaging, which, oh, it saddens me to get rid of it, but I'm not reaching for it because I don't like these shades on me. As far as the shades go, I much prefer the Nude Dude. I love this flirty color right here, and I love all the neutrals and this gold one and the coppery one. So I'm definitely going to keep my Nude Dude. I feel so sad getting rid of my Nude Tude palette though. Why do I have such attachments to things? Okay, nope, we're passing it on. Bye. Sorry, I love you but not that much. Okay, so that's four already that I've gotten rid of. My goal was at least five. So let's see, you know what? I of course want to keep my Marc Jacobs palette. If I can get it damn open. This is so beautiful. I got this around Christmas time last year. I'm excited to play with it in the fall. There's a lot of pretty like greens and bluey grays and purples and the formula of these shadows, like the formula of Marc Jacobs powders in general is incredible. They're so blendable, so nice. And I'm just, I'm excited to play with this in the fall. Also, I know I'm gonna be keeping this. This was from a couple Christmases ago. It's called A Few of My Favorite Things and I absolutely love it. I love most of these shadows and I love that it comes with some um, blush options and some bronzer options and it's just, it's beautiful and especially during the Christmas time. And I love that it's just kind of like a little book. It's kind of made out of that cardboard again. I guess this would be safe on an airplane, which actually I've taken this on an airplane several times. I put it in between the clothes, but it's just kind of an all-in-one palette. But I mainly on this love the eyeshadows. And I love the names. I love that it's after um, Sound of Music. These are a few of my favorite things. And all of the names of the shadows are from that song as well, and I just love this palette, so definitely keeping that. This shade and light, um, oh, it's so beautiful, I'm keeping this. I got this towards the end of fall last year, and this is, to me, a very fall palette, although these are, like, a lot of matte neutrals. I really wanted this because it was all matte, and I prefer all matte shades on my eyelids just because, I don't know, I have freckles. I feel like sometimes shimmer can make me look weird or dirty, so I love to have a lot of matte options, and this is great. At first, I was intimidated by it because a lot of the colors are kind of deep for me, but I really want to continue to play with it. I love these two shades right here. Oh my god. Okay, opening this just made me even more excited for fall. I need to light a pumpkin spice candle and get to work with that. By the way, that's the Kat Von D shade and light eye palette. I don't have the face palette, I just have the eye one. I also know I want to keep my Lorac Mega 2 Pro whatever palette. I loved this. I got this with some birthday money last year and I loved it all the way up until Christmas when I got other things. I love that it has purple options, green options, matte options, shimmer options, a lot of shades. I freaking love this. So so I'm definitely keeping this. <laughs> Too Faced Naked Eye. Naked Eye versus Romantic Eye. I like the Romantic Eye one because of this color Cut the Cake. It's a really interesting like purpley, taupey, lavender gray color. That's why I keep keeping it, but I never reach for it. But I love Too Faced Shadows. Ah. My instinct tells me to get rid of the Too Faced Romantic Eye and keep the Naked Eye because I really like this uh, shade. Oh. There we go. I really like the shade Birthday Suit and Satin Sheets and Pillow Talk. I like all of these, so I'm keeping this one. I'm passing on Romantic Eye. I, I am being ruthless for me today. Last two palettes. I have my Smashbox Shape Matters palette, which I got for Christmas, and I'm honestly on the fence about it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this palette. It has eyeshadows, highlights, contours, and some brow products. I don't know. I didn't like this as much as I thought I would. I haven't been reaching for it. A lot of these eyeshadow shades are not really shades I would wear. I would wear these four, and that's pretty much it. I have plenty of bronzers. I'm gonna pass on this, which makes me so sad. But I'm not reaching for it. I didn't enjoy it, so okay. And then last but not least, I have this Tarte. It's, this came in like a Christmas palette and I got rid of the rest of it or gave it to my sister and I kept this part because I really liked this idea for travel, which I just traveled to New Jersey and I took my Tarte face palette with the bronzer, highlight, and blush in it and I loved it. So I think I wanna keep this, well, I don't know though. Maybe not, because I don't love these eyeshadow colors. I also don't really like the pink highlight. 
I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it. Oh my god, okay. All right. Okay, guys, so this is what I am keeping, and this is what I am getting rid of. I'm actually really proud of myself. I I can't believe I'm getting rid of that Smashbox palette and the Bomb palette, but I feel good about it because I'm not reaching for it, and it leaves more room and space and time for me to reach for the ones that I love. And now I can get that Urban Decay palette. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see the rest of this series, I will have it linked right there. And, uh, yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you soon. I think next we'll do mascaras or eyeliners or loose, loose shadows or something along those lines. I was going to do more today, but I think I'm running out of daylight. So I'll leave it here for now. But we'll see what I do next time. But, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll catch you later. Bye. Wait, you guys, I'm back. If you're interested in buying any of these palettes, I'm going to be selling some of them on my at shop Amy Lynn account on Instagram if you're interested. Most of these I'm getting rid of because I just don't like the shades. I love all of these brands, all of these formulas. Nothing's wrong with them. Um, most They're all lightly used, which is why I'm passing them on. So check that if you're interested. And, uh, okay, yeah, now I'm leaving. Okay, bye. <laughs>